isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at SPED tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, Subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your Tutor Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Good day, young entrepreneur. Welcome to an interesting session that will develop and enhance your skills, knowledge, and competencies to become a successful entrepreneur. I am Tutor Wax Benson from SDO Olanga Po City. With me is my tutor mentee, Tutor Mel from Coron School of Fisheries, SDO Palawan, to assist your week three modules in entrepreneurship. Good morning, Tutor Mel. Good morning, Tutor Wax, once again. Ayan, so welcome po muli dito po sa ating Dep and Itulay online tutorial platform. Tunay nga, yes. Tutor Wax, ngayon po ay October 1. Welcome po yes, natin first October. Day. Yes. First day of the month. Okay, and yes, let's po. also greet our viewers for this morning. Ang ating pong napaka-loyal na viewer na si Ma'am Mira na sinamahan oh, din ako last year pa no, sa buong session ng, ng entrepreneurship. Also, also, good morning, guys. Si Handy. I don't know if, if he or she is Chinese. Good morning. So he's uh, watching from Holy Spirit National High School, Main 8 uh, Aquarius. Ganon din kay Mary Rose Enriquez Cruz, kay Raquel Rastia, Olivia, and of course, sa lahat po ng SDO from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao na nakatag... Na, 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 naka, so bye-bye. Dito po <laughs> sa ating itulay session sa subject na entrepreneurship. And of course, yes. oh, last week, binigyan po tayo ng ating pong, uh, tutorial ni Tutor Mel sa ating naging discussion for the topic for the whole uh, week 2 ng ating pong, uh, entrepreneurship. And of course, no, for this week naman, tatalakayin po ng ating Tutor Mel 
ang week 3 ng ating pong mga modules. At ang ating modules ay galing po sa DepEd Commons. So punta po kayo sa website po ng DepEd Commons para ma-download po ninyo ang ating pong mga module na gagamitin for our session for this morning. Di ba, Tutor Mel? Yes, tamang ta tama po kayo dyan, Tutor Wax. At yan po, shoutout po, present daw po si, si, si Kuya Mark Edward yes, good morning, from Mabalakat, Piti Pampanga. Good morning. Mabalaka. Good morning din po kay Tolentino Faye. Ayan, kaapilido ko pa si Tolentino Faye. Baka kamamaya kamag-anak ko ito. <laughs> Ayan, so mag-start na po ba tayo, Tutor Wax? Uh, actually, no, bigyan muna natin sila ng overview kung ano nangyari nung last week. no? Kasi yes. nakakawa, ang dami nakaantabay last week at mayroong mga nag nagko-comment no sa ating naging discussion. So ano ba yung ating napag-aralan no ng last week session po natin? Opo, Tutor Wax, last week po tayo po ay pinag-aralan po natin ang core competencies and entrepreneurship. At napag-aralan din po natin yung types of entrepreneurs. At syempre, pinag-aralan din po natin ang mga career and opportunities of entrepreneurship. Ayan, yan po yung napag-aralan natin last Business Friday. Yes, yeah, so I know na ang ating po mga grade 12 learners no sa entrepreneurship ay nalaman na nila kung ano yung mga opportunity no na ating pong pwede, na ating pong pwedeng ma-acquire dito po sa pag-aaral natin sa subject na ito. Yung mga career yeah. opportunities no na kapag sila po ay nagpatuloy pa ng kanilang kolehiyo no pwede po at posible na ito po yung mga position o yung mga career na pwede po nating uh, maging trabaho. Yes, diba? shout out po kayo dan, Tutor Wax. Ayan, shout out po kay, Sir, uh, kay Jerick from SDO Kabanatuan City. Ayan, sabi naman po ni RJ Kalagwas, Mayap uh, Abaka po. <laughs> Ayan, kapampangan po ata yun. Ayan, Ayan grabe. Yes. Ayan, ganda, umaga po sa inyo. Ayan, yes, so good. Po. Si, si Sir, si Tutor RJ, no, nakaantabay din sa atin. Si, tu, si Tutor Jerick Santiago Diaz. Yes. yes, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. So ano ba yung ating tatalakayan for this morning, uh, Tutor Mel? Yes, Tutor Wax, tayo po ngayon ay nasa quarter one, week three. Ang ating pong topic for today is recognize a potential market. Ayan, wow. po, ready, ready na it's ating exciting, no? online uh, students or online learners. Para yes, so, sa ating pong mga online learners na nakatutok po sa ngayon, i-ready po ninyo ang inyong mga module, ang inyong pong mga pen, at sabay-sabay po nating aralin at sagutan ang ating mga module. Magandang umaga, Maricar. Yes. Ayan. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you the floor at Tutor Mel. So take it away. Okay, thank you, Tutor Wax. Ayan, magandang maganda pong Umaga muli sa lahat po ng ating mga online learners at sa lahat po na nakikinig at sumusubaybay dito po sa DepEd Itulay Online Tutorial Platform. Ayan, sige po. So ngayon po, uh, sabi nga ni Tutor Wax kanina, ang saan po natin mag makikita ang ating uh, self-learning module. Ayan po. At ang ating pong objectives for today, at the end of the tutorial, you are expected to learn and understand the sources of opportunities for business. Pangalawa nating objectives, determine the essentials in the entrepreneur's opportunity seeking. Ayan, tingin ko, handa na ba kayong matuto? Sige nga. So, comment nga kayo sa ating comment section ng heart kung kayo ay handang-handa ng matuto ngayong umagang ito. Sige, comment kayo sa ating comment section. Ayan, ang dami na. Yes, excited na daw si Mira. Ayan, si Valerie Jane Viernes. Good morning po kay Loisa. Hello po. Sabi ni Faye, good morning. Ayan, patuloy ko rin pong sinashoutout at binabati po ang SDS ng SDO Palawan, Sir Roger F. Kappa. At ang aming pong ASDS, si Sir Arnie Ventura, PhD. At syempre po, ang PSDS ng Coron Coastal District, Ma'am Christine Heidi Garciliano, at ang aming pong Vocational Administrator 1, Dr. Benjamin Ablasa, at syempre ang aming Head Teacher 6, uh, Sir Joel E. Bideha. At sa lahat po ng 
Uh, kasama po sa Coron School of Fisheries, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Handa na daw po sila. Sige, kung handa na kayo, tayo ngayon ay magsasagot ng ating first activity. Ayan, what I know. ba? Diba? So, uh, the read the statement carefully, then write through or answer, comment your answer in our comment section. If the statement is correct, and write false if the statement is not correct. Okay? Ayan, Aliza Morcoso, good morning. Ayan, si Mia Daina, uh, grade 12, ABF, from Ford, May Kawayan National High School. Good morning po. Sige, ating statement number one. An entrepreneur enters or enters a business because of its profitability. Ang isa daw entrepreneur ay nag-business dahil sa kita sa business. Ano kaya itong sagot natin? True ba ito o false? Ayan. John Mark Santiago, good morning po. Ayan, si DJ Fernando. Ayan, ano po ang sagot natin dito sa ating unang statement? It is false or it is true? Tama, true. Okay, number two statement. New business ideas provide business opportunities. Yung atin daw pong naiisip ng mga new business ideas, nagpo-provide daw ng opportunity for business. Ano kaya ang sagot natin dito? It is true or false? Ayan, ang gagaling ng ating mga online learners. Ang sagot nila ay true. Napakahusay. Let's continue with our statement number three. Sabi ni DJ Fernando, ni Mira Trudao. Ayan. Number three, an enter the, the entrepreneurial process starts with identification of entrepreneurial opportunities. Nagsisimula daw ba yung process ng entrepreneurial sa pag-identify ng opportunity? Saan kaya ito nag-start? Okay, malalaman natin. So, ang sagot dito ay Paul. Hindi po siya nag-start sa ating entrepreneurial uh, identification. Okay, malalaman natin mamaya saan ba nag-start ang entrepreneurial process. Okay, next natin. Statement number four. Or discovery and advancement in the use of technology are additional go good sources of business opportunities. Ayan. Discovery daw. True kaya ito? Ayan. Ang sagot po natin ay true. Okay. Number five. Last. Interest and hobbies of the people are possible good sources of entrepreneurial ideas. Good source kaya? Ayan, sabi ni Ruela sa number 3 daw ay false, tama. Number 4, sabi ni Justin, number 5, true. Ayan, tignan natin. Very good. Ang sagot ninyo ay true sa number 5 natin na question. So now, we're going to tackle bakit nga ba yun yung mga sagot natin sa ating pre-test or sa ating unang activity. Okay, tara na at patuloy natin alamin kung bakit nga ba yun yung ating mga sagot. Okay, entrepreneurial ideas. Ito na po. So, the creation of an entrepreneurial idea leads to the identification of entrepreneurial opportunity. So, kanina sa number three, no, nauuna muna yung entrepreneurial ideas. Diba? Which turns so to opening of an entrepreneurial venture. Okay, the entrepreneurial process of creating a new venture is presented to this diagram below. Okay, ito na po siya. The entrepreneurial process of creating new venture. First, creation of entrepreneurial ideas. Second, identification of entrepreneurial opportunities. And third is opening of entrepreneurial venture. This is the time that you are going to establish or open your business. Ayan. Okay, let's go. Good morning po. Ayan, kina Danessa Castillo. Ayan. So now, let's start with understanding the essentials or knowing the essentials in entrepreneurs' opportunity seeking. Meron po tayong tatlo, okay? The, the three basic foundation that entrepreneur must have in seeking opportunities. Every time though that we find opportunities, dapat meron tayong tatlo nito. Okay, number one, entrepreneurial mind frame. Number two, entrepreneurial heart flame, di ba? And number three, entrepreneurial gut game. Okay, so let's start discussing ano ba yung tatlo na to? Entrepreneurial mind frame. This allows the entrepreneur to 
uh, to see things in a very positive and optimistic, very positive siya in a way, the means of difficult, difficult situation. Being a risk taker, an entrepreneur can find solution when problem arise. Hello po kay Eliza Marcoso. Ayan. So, very positive daw tayo. Okay? Ayan. So, di ba, kahit nas in the situation natin, in the midst of pandemic, very positive pa rin tayo. Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na entrepreneurial mind frame. And number two, which is the entrepreneurial heart flame, ano naman kaya ito, no? Entrepreneurs are driven driven by passion. Wow, passion, no? Pag sinabi natin passion, it's from the heart. Diba? They are attracted to discover satisfaction in the act and process of discovery. Passion is a great desire of an entrepreneur to achieve his or her goal. Ibig sabihin, from the from heart, from the heart talaga, yung tinatawag natin na heart flame. Ayan po. And next natin is, siyempre, the entrepreneurial gut game. This refer to the ability of entrepreneur of being intuitive. Diba? Intuitive. This also known as intuition. The gut, although the gut game also means confidence in oneself and the firm's belief for that everything you aspire can be rich. Lahat ng pinaniwala ang maabot mo. Parang Parang meron kang great conviction, di ba? Yun. So, those are the three most essential. When we say essential, this is very important. So, we have number one, entrepreneurial mind frame, entrepreneurial heart flame, and number three, entrepreneurial gut game. Okay? So, don't forget those essential because uh, that that's our very important. Okay? Now, let's go to the sources of opportunities. Now we're going to identify what are the sources of opportunities. Diba? Ano ba yung mga pinagmumulan ng mga opportunities na to? Hello kay Ruela, Ruela Palermo. Good morning po kay Jane Casan Cancesaran. Yan. Yan number one, changes in the environment. Ito daw yung mga sources na pwede natin pagkunan ng ating uh, business. Yan. Number two, technological discovery and advancement. Number three, government trust programs and policies number four people's interest and number five past experiences so now let's discuss furthermore these five opportunity a source of opportunities number one changes in the environment entrepreneurial ideas arise when changes happen in the external environment a person with an entrepreneurial drive views these changes positively. Di ba kanina nga sabi natin, very optimistic and positive. So ano nga ba yung external environment? So external environment refers to the physical environment, societal environment, and industry gover uh, environment where a business uh, operates. Okay, let's discuss further. Ano ba yung mga changes na yan? So under the external environment, changes in environment, so we have physical environment, we have societal environment, we have in industry environment. So let's discuss further more. What is physical environment? Ano ba yung nakapaloob dito? We have number one, climate. Okay, climate, the weather condition. Diba? Pag tag-ulan, nakakaisip ka ng mga business. Kapag tag-init, nakakaisip ka ng business. Diba? Pag tag-ulan, uh, pag tag-init, ano yung magandang business na magandang ibenta? Naisip natin lagi ay... Halo-halo kasi nga, pampalamig yun. Pag tag-ulan naman, meron din tayo mga business na naiisip para doon sa particular na yun. Okay, so next, natural resources such as mineral, forest, water, and fertile, fertile land that occurs in nature and can be used for economic gain. Ayan, yung natural resources natin, mga kalupaan. Ayan, sabi ni Faye, halo-halo daw pagkatag-init, di ba? Tama. Yeah, and shampery wildlife include all mammals, birds, reptiles, fishes, etc. that live in the wild. Ito yung mga possible po natin mapagkunan ng ating source of opportunities, ating venture. Okay, so we have number two, societal environment. This refers to the political forces. Includes all the laws, rules, and regulation that govern business practices as well as the permits, ba? Approvals and licenses necessary to operate the business. Ito yung mga 
uh, uh, political. Lalo-lalo na kapag nag-start tayo ng business, very important that we secure permits. Tama? Di ba? Ayan. Good morning po muli sa lahat ng ating mga mananood. Ayan. Shoutout din po kay Sir Perferio Giray, Master Teacher 1 ng Senior High School Department. Ayan. Nagpagamit mo ng kanilang computer lab for today. At syempre, we have economic forces such as income level and employment rate. Siyempre, pag mas maraming employed, we can think more uh, opportunities kasi mas marami silang kita. O, di ba? Tsaka depende rin sa income level nila. And now, let's discuss the societal parent, social cultural forces, custom, lifestyles, and values that characterize a society. In the different society, different customs, beliefs nila, we can make an opportunity from that. Also, technological environment. A new inventions, di ba? And technology innovations. Nakakapag-isip tayo pag may mga bago, di ba? So we can think from that. And also, we have industry environment refers to competitors, customers, creditors, employees, government, and suppliers na pwede nating mapag-isipan ng mga possible opportunities in our business. Yan. Okay, number two, we have number one, changes in the environment. Number two, technological discovery and advancement. Ito, ito na, a person with entrepreneurial interest sees possible of business opportunities in a new discovery or because of the use of latest technology. Pag may mga bagong technology, di ba, marami tayong naiisip na mas magandang business or opportunity. And next, number three, Government trust, programs, policies. The, the, the priorities, projects, programs, and policies of the government are also good sources of ideas. Diba? Nung nakaraan, lalong-lalo na in the time of pandemic, require talaga. Uh, face mask is a must. Diba? So, anong ginawa ng ating mga, mga entrepreneurs? Nag-isip sila, they make face mask diba? para mas magamit. Diba? So, yan kung lahat ng mga regulations, programs ang binibigay ng government is a good way or source of ideas naman. And number four, ayan na, number four, people's interest. Ayan, ano ba to? The interest, hobbies, and preference of people are rich sources of entrepreneurial ideas. ba? Diba? Sobrang dami. Anong gusto nila ng... Uh, Sinan-check natin dyan kung ano yung kanilang gusto Diba? At dahil siyempre yun yung ating mga target market, sila yung ating mga consumers, nakadepende sa kanila kung ano yung magandang business na ating itatayo. Diba? Kaya dapat alam natin lagi if the product that you're going to make, the idea that you're going to make is in line with the interest of the people. And siyempre number five, past experiences. It refers to your experiences. Kung ano yung naging experience before. Ayan, sabi nga ni Mira Dine, Diba? Milk tea daw. Oo. Kasi ang dami ngayon na, na ano sa milk tea pagdating din. Diba? Yan. Past experiences. The expertise and skills developed by a person who has worked in a particular field may lead to the opening of a related business enterprise. Yung experience mo. Diba? Sa trabaho mo dati. Dati na namasukan ka bilang mananahe. Naisip mo, ay, naku, pwede pala din ako magtayo. Diba? Nagtayo ka naman ng panibagong business. Okay? Ayan, good morning kay Crystal Joy, Agbayani, Santiago, kay, ayan, kay Enzo Santos. Good morning po. Sabi niya, takoyaki. Yes, masarap po talaga yung takoyaki. Okay? So now, we're, we're able to discuss the five sources of opportunities which are changes in environment, in the environment. Number two, technological discovery and advancement. Number three, government trust program and opportunities in number four people's interest di ba mga interest natin iba-iba kasi yung interest din it can be referring to the different ayan sub different uh, age of level ayan good morning po sa ating uh, fra, ay Marla Yuson Mercado Grade 12 Emerald listening di ba from LFG ano to Diamond da, da, Diamantina National High School Kabanatuan East District. Ayan, good morning po sa ating mga mananood at ating mga online learners. At syempre, past experiences. So this 
are these are the possible sources of opportunities that an entrepreneur can see every time that there is a possible situation. Okay, recognize a potential market. Okay, I know that you listen in our discussion for today and we're going to have our assessment. Okay, ready na ba? Nakinig ba? Kung nakinig, sige nga, mag-comment nga kayo ng heart sa ating comment section kung kayo po ay nakinig talaga sa ating discussion for this morning. Ayan, kay Kathleen, Eunice, Nueva, ayan, Nueva. Ayan, good morning po. Ayan, ABM, grade 11 from Malabon National High School. Hello po sa mga taga Malabon National High School. Okay? Sige yan. Tingin ko ready ready na sila for our assessment. Sabi ni Maricar, Mututina. Ayan. Good. Ayan. Sabi ni Eliza, ready na daw. Heart na sila. Okay, let's start. Okay, so finish na po natin. So we, let's uh, answer the question given below by encircling the letter of the correct answer. Okay, let's start with question number one. It is the process of considering, evaluating, and pursuing market-based activities that are believed to be advantageous to for the firm. Okay, so ano kaya ito? Opportunity seeking kaya? Opportunity seizing? Opportunity screening? Oppor or source of opportunity? Considering ha, iniisip natin that there is advantage for this particular activity. Ano kaya ang sagot natin with question number one? Sige, comment your answer in our comment section. Okay. Ayan, nasagot na sila. Ang sagot nila ay letter letter A. Very good students. Ang gagaling. Ayan, hello po Mika. O oh, Mika Joy Baguio. Grade 12 from Del Pilar. Ayan, Quirino National High School. Sabi ni Nia, letter A. Ang galing. Number two question. Number two, we have it is the ability of an entrepreneur that can see Without using the five senses, also known as intuition. Ano kaya ang sagot natin dito? Letter A, entrepreneurial mind frame. Letter B, entrepreneurial gut game. Letter C, entrepreneurial heart flame. Or letter D, entrepreneurial heart frame. Ano kaya ang sagot natin sa number two question natin? Diba? Also known as intuition. Diba? Ano kaya ang sagot natin dyan? Sige. Ayan, nagsugot na si Mark Edward, letter B daw. Si Jacqueline, letter B din. Very good. The answer is letter B. Ayan. Good morning po. Ayan. Tama, si Kathleen Eunice. Niyan ba? Letter B. Ang galing-galing. Mahusay ang ating mga online learners. Very good. Palakpakan niyo yung mga sarili. And of course, number three question. This is essential to opportunity seeking which allows the entrepreneurs to see things in a positive and optimistic light in the midst of crisis or difficult situations. So ano kaya ang sagot natin dito? Entrepreneurial mind frame, entrepreneurial gut game, entrepreneurial heart flame, or entrepreneurial heart flame. Ano kaya ang sagot natin sa number three? Ayan. Sige, sige, sige. Sagot natin. Very good. Nagsagot po sila ng letter a. Ano kaya itong letter A natin? No? Entrepreneurial mind frame. Very good. Si Ryan, sagot niya letter A. Si, Ru, si Ru Powell, letter A. Si Enzo, letter A. Sa number 3. Enzo Santos, ang galing, letter A. Of course, let's go with number 4 question. One of the essential of entrepreneurs opportunity seeking that refers to the driven passion of an individual. Diba? Driven passion. Ibig sabihin, great conviction from the heart. Ano, passion, diba? Passion from the heart. Okay? So, let's answer. So, the answer for number four, ano kaya? Letter A? Letter B? Letter C? Letter D? Ano kaya ang sagot natin dito for number four? Ang sagot, grabe, very good si Mark Edward. Talaga nakasubay. Well, ang sagot niya ay letter C. Very good. Si Enzo din, very good. Letter C. Ayan. Ang mga masusugid nating mga estudyante. Letter C. And last, number five. What variable of societal environment includes income level in employment? Saan kaya to Yung ating... Uh, ayan. 
Yan. So, A, economic forces. Letter B, social cultural forces. Letter C, political forces. And letter D, technological forces. Ano kaya ang sagot natin for? Number five. Ayan, very good sila. Sabi ni Ro Powell, I, letter A. Very good. Sabi ni Dave Montilla, letter A. Sabi ni Enzo, letter A. A. Ayan. So, sino kaya ang naka-five? Sige nga, comment your answer. Sino po ang naka-five? Over five sa atin pong assessment na ginawa. Ayan, five daw po si Mark Edward, si Elizabeth, five din si Mia, five din mahuhusay ang ating mga online learners, si Danessa, si Abigail, five si Kathleen, five over five na mahuhusay. Muli, maraming salamat sa inyong walang sawang pagsubaybay dito lang sa ating DepEd Itulay every Friday or Business Friday 11 to 11.30 a.m. sa subject na entrepreneurship. Makita kita tayo muli. Ako po ang inyong tutor Mel mula sa SDO Palawan. Kasama ko po si tutor Wax mula sa SDO Olonga po City. Maraming maraming salamat po at ang inyo pong mga feedback ay mahalaga sa bawat isa. You can scan the QR code para po makapagbigay kayo ng feedback sa amin po tutor sa amin mong tutor for today. Mara, maraming maraming salamat po. Muli subaybayan niyo po kami sa aming mga Facebook accounts or face, Facebook page sa DepEd EdTech Unit. DepEd tayo dito at sa aming mga YouTube channels sa ating DepEd Educational Technology Unit at DepEd TV. Muli maraming maraming salamat po. Magkita-kita tayo sa susunod na Business Friday. God bless you all. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye, learners! Ang husay naman! Natapos mong iyong tutorial session kasamang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!